If you love the Andy Griffith Show like I do and so many other people do, uh, it's without a doubt one of the most popular sitcoms that was ever made. And you have probably watched episode after episode and never really thought about how the show was produced and how it was filmed um, and exactly where it was filmed. Well, today we're going to take a look at all that. And we're going to look at one episode in particular. And the episode is called The Rumor. We're going to really delve into this, and we're going to look at every camera shot that was made in this entire production of this episode. And I think you'll really enjoy it. It should be, it's a very detailed uh, video that we're going to have, but I think you'll learn a lot, and you probably will look at the Andy Griffith Show a totally different way from now on out when you watch it. I know when I watch the Andy Griffith show now, I look for these little details like where it was shot at, whether it was shot at 40 acres or whether it was shot on a sound stage. And it will surprise you how much it jumps back and forth between those two locations. So let's take a look at this. I think you'll enjoy it. Now let's lay a little groundwork on, on where things were filmed. Uh, the Andy Griffith Show was primarily filmed in about three locations. Actually four if you want to count one small area. But let's go through those so you understand what I'm talking about as we look at the entire filming process. The first acre, the first area that we're looking at here is called 40 Acres. And it's, it's a back lot that uh, Desi Lou had uh, that, that a lot of different things were filmed on. The Andy Griffith Show was filmed there. Real McCoys. Uh, there's just tons of stuff that was filmed on this back lot. And you can see from this picture, you can see the courthouse, the hotel, the theater. And this is a 1965 picture. All the exterior shots of the downtown area were shot here and the exterior shots of the residential street where the Taylors lived uh, were, were shot here. Now this is what it looks like today. There are, the back lot does not exist. There's actually some sound stages there that are uh, some independent uh, production companies use. Uh, but it it uh, doesn't look anything like it did back in the 60s. It was that was completely demolished. You can see in this picture the triangle area of those buildings is where the back lot set. It was a triangular shape, and you can see the green area just uh, below that. That's the Baldwin Scenic Overlook, and you can see that in the background of a lot of the shots in uh, the Andy Griffith show. Now, all the interior shots were shot in Hollywood at Desilu Cahunga, and this is a picture of that. And it is, um, it's a sound studio, it, it's an actual sound stages now. Um, I think it's called Red Studios. But Andy Griffith was filmed in uh, sound stages one and two, as you can see them numbered here. Dick Van Dyke was filmed here. I Love Lucy, Gomer Powell, USMC. A lot of stuff is, is still filmed there. But this is where all the interior stuff was done. Now here's another look at Soundstage 1 and 2. And you can see three houses here that sit right across the street. The street is called Lillian Way. And that was used for a lot of different exterior shots. The house on the right is Thelma Lou's house, and that's, that's at 830 Lillian Way. It doesn't exist anymore. There's an actual parking garage there now. But all the exterior stuff for uh, Barney going to Thelma Lou's house was filmed at that house. And um, so, so that is another location that was close to Desi Lou 
Cahunga, so all they had to do is walk out the Lillian Way gate, and they're right there. So it wasn't that hard for them to film exterior shots there. Then the last place they film is uh, the area that's used for the opening sequence, and it's uh, where they go, are walking to the fishing hole, and that's Franklin Canyon Reservoir, and that's that's north of L.A. just a little bit. Uh, it's not probably about uh, 10 miles north of Hollywood, but it's up through the mountains of the Hollywood Hills. And that's, that's where any exterior shots that needed to be around Myers Lake or, or, uh, something in the wilderness, like the cave rescue, when they did that, all that type stuff, the exterior shots were filmed at that location in, in, uh, Franklin Canyon. So, it, it has changed quite a bit now. There's not near as much water in that lake, but that's where it all uh, begins with opening credits, and it was used quite a bit as an exterior location. Now you know the sites that it was, it was filmed at, so you'll kind of understand as I explain each camera shot uh, where it was actually filmed at. Okay, we're looking at a call sheet, um, and a call sheet is what the studio used to actually inform, every, to get everybody on the same page. It's used by the studio to produce an episode, and it gives all the details for uh, the different places they're going to be to shoot uh, an episode. And you can see this one is from, it says call sheet up here, and it's, it's from Monday, uh, March 9th. 1964 and the uh the actual arrival time for for most of the the people is 7 a.m the shooting call is from uh 8 a.m on and you can see the title is the rumor and um it up here it has the the series name andy griffith show and it's got aaron rubin and it just goes down uh and, and kind of gives you who all's involved in it. And then it will list the different sets. And it's, it says exterior Main Street montage. And then it says exterior Town Street montage. Exterior Market montage. Um, exterior Barber Shop. Exterior Jewelry Store. Exterior Jewelry Store again. And then it says uh, Residential Street and then Andy's house. Now, where are all these uh, places located? Well, on, on this particular call part right here, it lists 40 acres back lot. And, and on, on the listing, it's going to say Coal Town Street. And Coal Town Street is an old name for the area, that the street that ran in front of the courthouse on the 40 acres back lot. And you see down here, it says Residential Street. Uh, they're actually talking about the street that runs in front of, of Andy's house. And it tells you right here how many cast members, which different cast members are going to be there. Uh, you can see number one, that's Andy Griffith. And it, it over here kind of uh, lines them out. It says Andy Griffith's number one, Don Knotts is number five, Betty Lynn is nine, and it goes down. You know, it's got Rhonda Jeter at, uh, she's 19. But on each scene, it tells you which actors are going to be there by number. And then there's an exterior gas station scene, and that's also at the 40 acres back lot. Then it's going to say that the company moves to Desilu, Cahunga. And that is where the bulk of the interior shots or all the interior shots were shot. Now, they're shooting on stage two in this episode. They used stage one and stage two. And what they were going to do is, is they were going to shoot in the morning at 40 acres right here. Then at three o'clock, they were, or approximately, they were going to move to Desilu Cahunga stage two. Now you can look 
down here and and you'll see it says atmosphere and stand-ins and it's it's telling uh atmosphere and stand-ins stand-ins are the people that stand in for for another person while an actor is being filmed reading his line uh as you look at these clips you're gonna think that andy and barney may be talking to each other but they really aren't. They're being filmed separately, and it's being cut together to make it look like they were they were conversing. And they use stand-ins to, to create that effect. Um, they they uh, seamlessly piece together all this, and you never know it's happening. And this is what we're going to delve into a little bit, how it bounces back and forth. Uh, between the camera setups they use a one camera setup it's not like today where they today a sitcom will be done with three cameras and a lot of times it'll be done with a in front of a live audience but this was filmed more like a movie was shot and resetting the cameras is a major deal these cameras are are huge and getting the lighting and the sound right is a major deal but you can see there's people that show up for the atmosphere and, and stand-ins. Atmosphere is the conditions around the shooting that day. So if it's supposed to be raining that day, then they make sure it, it has that atmosphere. If it's supposed to be scorching hot, then then that's, uh, you know, they, they try to create that look. You can see that, um, that on stage two, they're... they're wanting a painter to be there at two o'clock i'm not sure why they would want that but but they uh, are, are asking for that and you can see kind of that advanced schedule in, into tuesday they're filming only at desilu kahunga on stage two and they're shooting in the living room of andy's house and they're shooting an interior shot of the kitchen and andy's bedroom and you'll see all this as we walk through and step you through this entire filming process. Then on Wednesday, they're shooting again at Desilu Kahunga, and these are interior shots of the living room, and uh, it, it, looks like, um, it looks like courthouse exteriors. That may be some, that, I think that may be some second unit stuff that uh, I'm not really sure on that. Um, and you can see as it lists down here, it tells everybody when they need to leave. Um, the The crew needs to leave from uh, the Desilu location going to um, the 40 acres back lot from the Lillian Way Gate. And the Lillian Way Gate is, there's a street called Lillian Way that... Um, there's a, an entrance to the Desilu Studios from there. And the funny thing about it, Lillian Way has three houses on it that are used in the shooting of, of the Andy Griffith show. And uh, one of them is Thelma Lou's house. They, they only use it for exteriors, but it's right in front of this gate. So when you hear Lillian Way, that's what they're talking about, an area right in front of the, the uh, entrance or exit to Desilu Kahunga. And you can kind of see down here, it, they're listing for a cameraman to show up uh, and a camera operator to show up at 7, some assistance at 6.30. It goes down your key grips, your, your uh, dolly grips, uh, people that, that actually rig things, you know, the gaffer and the best boy. Um, it just goes through all the different people and needs that the uh, production crew is going to need during that day. You can see Honey Wagon. They're calling for that on the 40 acres back lot at 715. The Honey Wagon is the portable toilets they have on, on a truck and trailer type system. And sometimes, a lot of times, they'll have uh, hooked to them. They'll actually have the... Uh, dressing rooms for the stars to get dressed in you can see makeup and hair is supposed to be there at 7 15 and 7 o'clock uh, wardrobe managers um, just uh, all the little details that that need to be um, 
in place for this to happen. You can see that, that some of the equipment they're using, uh, they're using a camera truck um, that it needs to leave uh, at 624. Now that's pretty precise, but where, where this camera truck is leaving from, it's leaving from Gower. And Gower Studios is a little ways away from the Desi Lu um, Kahunga Studio. It's not very far, but it's kind of down near Paramount Studios. Um, and that's the reason that the timing is a little bit different on that. And they're, they're getting a camera truck from that studio, which is also a Desilu studio. You can see they're calling for the patrol car to be there at seven. Um, they got buses leaving at seven. And as you go down here, you'll, you'll see a first aid, uh, person there on the 40 acres back lot, a script person, uh, a second assistant director. And then you've got the welfare worker and the welfare worker is strictly for, um, the children that are on there. And specifically it would be in this one, it would be, uh, Ron Howard and Rhonda Jeter. Uh, they would be the, the two that are in this episode. And you can see, it's nine o'clock when they show up. And if you look up here, when, um, when Ron Howard shows up and Ron, uh, Rhonda Jeter, they both show up at nine o'clock. So this kind of gives you a roadmap of what's, what's happening. And we're going to break it down a whole lot more in these upcoming shots. Now the opening sequence is shot north of LA at Franklin Canyon Reservoir. The opening sequence shows Andy walking down Main Street talking to various people. And then he looks in the jewelry store and sees Helen. Now this was shot on the 40 acres back lot. The view then changes to Helen looking at a piece of jewelry. And this is actually filmed on the soundstage at Desilu Kahunga. Then Andy decides to go inside the jewelry store. This is filmed at the 40 acres back lot. You then see Andy walk in the store and this actually is filmed on a sound stage. Now the same camera is used right here. It's just a more close up shot. And this is at the Desilu Kahunga location. Now we see Barney walking down the street. He's greeting people and this is all filmed at the uh, 40 acres back lot. The camera then switches back and this is back on that sound stage again at Desi Lu. Now this is the same camera. It just follows Helen and, and Andy over to the counter and they start looking at a piece of jewelry, but still on the sound stage. Now we're back on the 40 acres back lot and Barney happens to look in the jewelry store and he sees Helen and Andy in there. Now we're back in the sound stage at Desilu Kahunga and you're getting the view that Barney sees through the window. Back on the 40 acres back lot and Barney walks closer to the window so he can get a better view. Now we're back on the sound stage at Desilu and Barney sees them kissing. Now you get Barney's reaction and I don't think this is on on the 40 acres back lot. I think this is on a sound stage but he's not standing where he was. Then we flash back to the sound stage and and he just double checks what he's seeing. Then we go back to a slightly altered shot that shows his reaction again. Now this is a collage of shots after Barney goes and tells Thelma Lou. Uh, you'll see three different camera angles. You'll see a medium shot uh, where, where you see both of them. Then you'll see two close-up shots where they alternate back and forth talking to each other. Now all of the Thelma Lou shots were all shot at once and all of the Barney shots were all shot at once and they used a stand-in to use each other's part or say each other's part. 
and then they were cut together in editing. Now, the thing I find strange about this is the the location they're using on the Desilu Kahunga uh, set is actually the front porch of Andy Griffith's house on that set. They've just replaced a bench there, and um, they're, they're using Andy's house as Thelma Lou's house in this scene. Now, this next scene is Andy's living room on the Desilu Kahunga soundstage, soundstage two. And it's um, Barney uh, telling Aunt B about uh, them going to get married. Now we're now in the courthouse set up in uh, Desilu Kahunga. And all of these shots are, are different camera angles inside that same setup. And they're all shot at different times. Uh, you will, you'll see the interaction between Andy and Barney. And when they're not together in the shot, those were actually shot at separate times and neither was probably in the same room together when they shot these alternating shots. Andy's trying to get a guy to take some quarantine signs down and Barney's acting just really strange because he knows something he shouldn't know. Now we're in the dining room on the uh, soundstage at Desilu Kahunga, and Andy and Opie are, are uh, trying to figure out why Aunt B is crying. And Opie comes up with the idea that, that it's uh, an allergy problem. problem. They keep going back and forth. And all these shots are, are shot at different medium locations. Now we're back on the 40 acres back lot, uh, just a few houses down from Andy's house. But Helen is walking. Uh, she's called Ethel in, in this episode, uh, but it's Rhonda Jeter. She's walking her home and telling her to make sure she tells her mom to put something on her sty. And then Thelma Lou comes up and Thelma Lou's all excited because she thinks she's getting married. And then Thelma Lou walks off. These are all shot with different cameras and or different camera angles. Now we're still on the 40 acres back lot, just a different location. It's kind of on the outskirts of 40 acres and it's where Wally's service station is and, and uh, Barney and Thelma Lou and Gomer are talking about uh, what to do about them getting married. Now we're back at Desilu Kahunga, the sound stage, and this is the Taylor kitchen. And it's Thelma Lou, Barney, and Aunt B trying to decide what they can do for Andy and Helen uh, as a as a wedding present. And so they go back and forth. But each one of these shots is a separate setup. Uh, especially the close-up shots when it's an individual person, like you see Aunt B. Uh, the other two people are probably not even sit, sitting around there, and she's talking to a stand-in, and uh, vice versa when, uh, when it's just isolated on, on Andy or on uh, Barney and Thelma Lou. Uh, Aunt B is probably not even there. Somebody else is just sitting in. And so they banter back and forth and finally decide on a, a bed with a hoop on it. Now this looks like it's done on the 40 acres back lot, but this is actually in, on the sound stage. And this is the front main street setting on the sound stage and Barney and, and, uh, Floyd are going back and forth. Now, this is a Desilu soundstage. Uh, this is a room that's set up to look like Andy's bedroom. Uh, this is probably actually something they had to build, especially for this, because it's not a site that was seen very often where they were, they were shooting in, in his bedroom. But uh, all these camera angles are different camera angles, except for a few tracking shots where they track them walking in and out of the room. Um, all of them are, are separate and isolated shots. 
that they they have to set up and shoot. Now here we are on the sound stage. That's the uh, courthouse at Desilu, and uh, Barney's walking in to uh, uh, tell Andy that they're going to take him out to dinner. And uh, this is the same camera shot, uh, just a close-up shot and a distant shot. And the funny thing is that they have removed the wall that is behind the file cabinet so that they can get uh, the camera shot that they have right now. Now we're back on the sound stage in Andy's bedroom at uh, Desi Lou. Now we're at the Taylor living room where you see Aunt B walking down the stairs. And each one of these shots is an individual reset of a camera. And uh, this is all done on the sound stage there at, uh, at Desi Lou. Now we're back at the courthouse, inside the courthouse on a sound stage. And Barney is trying to stall uh, Andy uh, about taking him out to eat. And he's actually going to take him over to uh, the house and show him the new bedroom and everything and surprise him. But all these are distinct, separate camera shots. And not everybody was present like you're seeing them right now. Um, they was all cut together. And they were all these individual shots were shot at different times and made it look like they were all together. Now we quickly cut back over to Andy's living room on the sound stage. Now here we are in front of the courthouse with Andy leaning on the squad car and they're still trying to delay going over to Andy's house. But this is actually shot on a sound stage. It's not on the 40 acres in front of the courthouse at 40 acres. This is the area that is actually on the sound stage. Now we're back at Andy's living room, which is on the sound stage. And the, all these are separate shots. So separate that Floyd actually puts on two different pairs of glasses during this. Now we're back to in front of the courthouse. They're in the car about to go to Andy's house. And uh, this is on a sound stage at Desilu Cahunga. Now we're back at 40 acres and actually sitting out in front of Andy's house. And here comes the patrol car and uh, Gomer's going to try to whistle and he can't whistle because he's got food in his mouth. And you'll see the squad car pull up here in front of Andy's house in his drive. And they will walk up uh, on the porch and look like they're going to walk directly into the house on the 40 acres lot. But they don't. They actually walk into Andy's house on a sound stage. Now, it looks like they walk straight in from outdoors on the 40 acres lot, but they don't. They're, they're walking in to a sound stage set up. And all these shots are, are all separate. They flash back and forth between Andy and the crowd. And uh, Andy and Helen is, are so surprised because um, they don't know anything about this marriage thing that, that Barney has come up with. So they just look amazed, and then they walk upstairs. Now we're going back up to... Uh, a uh, soundstage room, it, it looks like it's upstairs, but it's not actually it up, upstairs. It's Andy's room. And uh, the whole thing kind of explodes, and they, and they find out that Barney has dreamed all this up just because of something he saw. And each one of these shots that you see was a different camera angle. There were a few tracking shots in this uh, part here. But uh, most of it was just different camera shots that were done, done at different times. And they can continue to talk, and, and Barney's feeling like an a idiot, and uh, Andy try to, tries to smooth things over as he usually does. And they tell everybody to go downstairs and, and let's, uh, let's enjoy everybody's company and then Andy starts to talk to Helen a little bit about 
maybe getting married at some point when they're ready. Now we're back downstairs in the uh, in the living room, and we're going to move into the kitchen here. And uh, these are all separate shots on the sound stage. And Barney's trying to uh, to give everybody their money back, and he's arguing with them about how much they actually donated towards this. And uh, Helen and and Andy walk on past and uh, just leave the craziness alone. So that's how the rumor ends. And uh, there's 163 separate camera shots in, in this uh, episode. If you think about it, there's a lot to making an episode of The Andy Griffith Show. Uh, when we watch the 30-minute the episode, we don't realize what all has gone into it and how much driving around was involved. And uh, it, it's just kind of amazing to look at it in realistic terms. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and, and watching my videos. I sure thank you for watching.